Present day. <laughs> Present time. <laughs> So I actually found something interesting that I did not know that we had this on Linux. So you guys know if you have like a, a Corsair keyboard or, you know, a mouse. I, I have the MMO mouse that looks a little bit like this and it has the little buttons on the side. Well, there's actually an application that's actually supported by the community and it lets you modify everything. And I'm going to teach you not only to install it and how to fix certain things that don't really like work out the box like you have to restart it and stuff we'll, we'll go over it so let's first to install it let me increase this in size oh you can't increase the size of this anyway so let's look up the package so this will be a padu or yay if you don't have to install it just replace padu by yay if that's the package manager that you're using but to search it we're just going to type this to search it and right here, we got a couple of different options. You got the normal one, you know, which is the driver. Then there's the Git version, whichever you want to choose. I actually choose this one next. So to install it, all you got to do is, you know, your package manager, S, and you install it. But when you install it and you open it for the first time, you're going to get like a little message error. And I'm going to teach you how to like actually fix that. So to restart it for the first time, you're going to have to actually run this command first because it's going to launch, but it's not going to let you see your devices. So what you want to do for the first time to actually restart and set your settings to get it running for the first time, you put a put pseudo pack, pseudo system CTL start. TKB next and then daemon or whatever you guys call it daemon so you're going to want to run that and then after you run that um, every time you boot up it's going to actually ask you to do that whole thing all over so to fix this you want to put sudo system ctl enable ckb next and daemon you put that in every time you reboot your computer pretty much it's going to just boot normally and it's not going to show you the message they usually pop up windows like hey you got to type this command to be able to like make it run normally once you do that the app every time you restart the app should be nice and it's really nice because you could just like you know you could change the lighting or your mouse you don't gotta i know these have like an internal memory and if you have the official app on windows you could change it but we don't have it on linux so we use like this third party tool i guess yeah you could just adjust all this while even having to go into windows or using the default app and it does everything that the other one does anyway if you guys found this video helpful don't forget to like comment and subscribe and until next time